International lead moments before a private airplane crashed into power lines in Maryland last night. Air traffic controllers urgently warned the pilot that in their view he was flying too low. It took rescue crews eight hours to save the pilot and the passenger. And as CNN's Pete Montin reports, power was out for tens of thousands of citizens of Maryland as the delicate mission played out. Firefighters are calling it a high stakes rescue from high voltage power lines. Two people on board this private airplane survived this crash, only to remain trapped 100 feet up as crews de-energized the wires. This is you know, a challenging uh, event, of course. It's like a car crash you know, up in the air. The crash caused power outages for 120,000 people in the blink of an eye. I saw like two big flashes. I thought, oh, it's just lightning. But the rescue of pilot and passenger took hour after cold hour. PEPCO power crews, along with firefighters from Maryland and D.C., responded to the scene, reassuring the pilot and passenger over the phone. They were anxious. They were concerned about the stability of the aircraft, the stability of the aircraft remaining in the tower structure. The pilot and passenger were carefully loaded into a specialized 178-foot cherry picker, then lowered to the ground. The 65-year-old man and 66-year-old woman were rushed to a hospital with hypothermia. The crash took place in the dark, only a mile from the flight's destination, the Montgomery County Air Park. The single-engine Mooney apparently aligned for landing on the southeast-facing runway. But moments before the crash, air traffic controllers warned the pilot that he was getting too low. And low altitude alert, small is 2944. The weather at the time of the crash was reported as low clouds and bad visibility. Just one of the factors the National Transportation Safety Board will be considering as they start this investigation. So I'm just really happy that, you know, this hasn't been a tragedy. Ask yourself what it would be like in a car to hit a wall at 80 to 100 miles an hour. I'd say pretty lucky. We are just learning from firefighters that one of the survivors in this crash has now been released from the hospital. Firefighters also point out one extra piece of luck here. The plane first sliced through the power lines and then hit that transmission tower. They're saying it is incredible, Jake, that nobody here was electrocuted. All right, Pete Montine in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thanks so much for, uh, to you for that.